Hit you with another video for my channel today. I have a really cool video on the Buds Live from Samsung, the Samsung Galaxy Buds Live. Uh, I wanted to bring these to you guys because they have a lot of mixed reviews. I think they are a pretty good value for where you can find them right now. And also, I wanted to put some claims that I heard uh, a lot of reviewers uh, out there. And uh, I just wanted to put my own take on it. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. DJ Martini Midwest Reviews coming at you with another review on some Samsung Galaxy Live Buds. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you guys like, subscribe, and share, that would help me much. Also, if you guys get any help from this content, please leave some comments. Let me know what's going on. Also, if you have any questions, let me know. But I just want to thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. We're almost to 2,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. I just want to keep growing. I just want to keep helping out there, guys. That's all I do is try to help, give you guys some information, do the research for you guys so you don't have to. That way you guys can make some decisions on these products like these Samsung earbuds. All right, let's get into what you're gonna get if you buy these. I did get a great Amazon warehouse deal on these. I got them for around $40 and they were pretty much uh, in good condition and they had all the accessories and everything with them. Now, some will not come with some of the accessories, so make sure you pull down a little bit on the Amazon warehouse deals, uh, see if they're missing anything. But other than that, mine came with everything they need. So it was pretty cool. So retail, they are $169. You can find them brand new for $99, which is still a good deal in my opinion, but even better if you can find them for $40 to $50 on a warehouse deal, guys. And you can find that in different colors as well. So make sure you look through all of them and uh, try to find your deal if you can find them. But for absolutely a steal in my opinion, if you can find them for that $40 to $50, and I couldn't pass up the deal, so that's why I picked them up. Also, I was looking for something to wear at work to let in a little sound so I could be able to hear my surroundings while I'm trying to listen to music as well. So very, very, very cool there, guys. In the box, what you're gonna get, uh, your basic uh, USB type C charger, which is cool. You're gonna get some quick start manual over here you're gonna get the earbuds themselves in a charging case which i think looks really really cool looks good good fitment there's not much um there's this isn't like pop open or anything but um case is nice in my opinion i'm okay with that and they fit in there and charge there's a light green light on the front also a charging light on the inside to show you that they're charging so very good there. You're also gonna grab these little silicone uh, tips in here that go on the headphones, or sorry, the earbuds. You see this one has a larger one on there, but it goes right there. They're really easy to take off and put on, not too hard. I tend to use the larger ones, but I can also use the smaller ones as well. I'm kind of in between. I do have large ears. They do feel more secure and probably seal out a little bit more of the outside world with the bigger silicone tips, but I still they still feel pretty comfortable with the smaller ones on as well. I did happen to lose one of the, uh, they're not, they don't really fall off in my opinion, they're pretty good, but I did happen to lose one of the larger ones recently. Uh, so I have been using the smaller ones. Um, other than that, guys, they look pretty cool in my opinion. I'm going to bring them up close right now. There you go. So here's the smaller uh, tips on there. Put that on there, right? There we go. Perfect. And you can see that you have uh, the dual speakers here. It's a 12 millimeter speaker. It does have a bass duck inside. They do have an open... Uh, platform where they will have like an open sound. Uh, they do have a microphone here and then this is your your touch sensitive button up here so you can tap to go through tracks and those types of things. Um, but yes, they do kind of look like a kidney bean. That's why they're called the beans. And I do like the design and the look. And I, I love the way they fit the fitment in your ear is really secure and feels real good. Now, like I said, I they have two sizes of silicone tips, a large and a small. I can kind of use both, but I feel more secure with the larger. Uh, and you get a little bit better sound because of course, fitment is important on these. The better they fit in your ear, the more secure they fit in your ear, 
the better sound you're going to get and also it'll work better for the noise canceling as well the active noise canceling they, they do have a and c on these but they're not the type that everybody's expecting and that's kind of what i want to talk about um other than that guys i will show you i'll uh, put one in my ear guys put this in now i can already tell that this fits pretty good actually um but they do feel a little bit better when I have the larger. And so I like, you kind of put them in your ear and turn them a little bit so they go down into your ear. So down into your ear, just like that. And you know, they feel pretty good. I think they look pretty good. I have pretty big ears, uh, but they definitely slide down into your ear. Um, so kind of the fitment guys I, I i don't have i think they feel real comfortable in my opinion now they do make like silicone covers for them so if they don't fit in your ear well if you have even bigger ears or um, i don't know how it would work with smaller or maybe they don't feel comfortable you you could try some of those silicone covers for them that make them uh, but that then but then that would make them bigger at the same time so if you had smaller ears i don't know if that would work uh, but that's kind of a thing uh, of you know fitment feel and personal preference so all those to me they feel fantastic they fit really really good uh, almost with both of the tips they feel a little bit better with the larger ones but um, i can still use the smaller ones as well uh, if you do have to replace those little silicone tips it's about seven to nine dollars on amazon you can get the replacement ones or extra covers or whatever you want for your um, samsung live buds uh, let's go over the stats guys real quick uh, for these guys 12 millimeter speakers guys AGK Sound Company is the one that kind of developed some of the sound, which are well known for making headphones and speakers. Uh, they do have like an open bass duct. They do have air vents in them that let ambient sound in, guys, and that's the point. They are called live. If you want a, an, an inclusive uh, sound where you don't want to hear anything else, you just want to hear your music, you're going to be better going, better off getting the Buds 2 or the Buds Pro um to to use uh, i don't know i can't remember which one has anc on those but they will work better with those these are not made to absolutely block out outside sound they're made to reduce it and if you read all the comments and everything these really get blasted on uh, reviews and things because they they say the anc doesn't work good and this and that and they don't have enough volume but uh, I'm kind of here to kind of put my point in there that they're not made to absolutely block sound out. They're made to reduce those sounds uh, that could be out there. And they want you to let the world in and want you to be able to hear your outside surroundings. They have five minute quick charge, which is awesome. Five minutes of quick charge will get you one hour of usage, which is very, very cool, guys. Uh, six out, five and a half to six hours of constant use. So if you wore them for, you know, five and a half to six hours with ANC on all that kind of thing you can put them in the charger and you're gonna get about three to four charges with that and give you those you know five to six hours and so you're gonna get easily you know almost 30 hours of charges uh, they do work with smart assistants so they will work with you know Alexa or Siri or your Bigsby or whoever's uh, in uh, your voice your smart assistants they will work with that they're bluetooth 5.0 they are uh, ipx rated 2 so they will be a little water resistant to like just water getting on them not actually like submerging or anything like that but just water drops um, they were easy to pair via bluetooth very very easy they also work with windows computers and things like that through bluetooth you can hook them up and use them on your laptop they have built-in mics that work really, really pretty good. lightweight at 5.6 grams, in my opinion. Um, they didn't feel like giant uh, earbuds or anything, uh, in my opinion. So they worked really, really good. They come with different colors, blue, black, white, bronze, and red. Uh, they're all called Mystic. So Mystic Blue, Mystic Red, Mystic White, you get the point. And so they have a lot of colors, guys. Very, very cool. Like I said, you can find them right now, $99. Uh, retail was $169, but look for that warehouse deal, guys, where you can find for $40 to $50, and that is unbelievably great price. Just make sure you kind of, if you go to a warehouse deal, hit more, look down, and see, make sure that they're not missing anything. If they're missing maybe a power cable or one of these silicone tips or some accessories, 
that's going to be kind of up to you to check on. Any of the accessories are universal, so you can definitely go pick up your own charger or the silicone tips are widely available on Amazon as well. And they're only seven, you know, six, seven, seven, we'll call it six to nine dollars, somewhere in there to get replacement tips as well for those. So um, you could definitely get a value of even buying a deal and then, you know, buying a couple little accessories for it too as well. All right, guys. Uh, they did come out in uh, August of 2020, so they're not that old, but they just get really bad reviews because I think they get kind of misunderstood for the uh, act of noise canceling. All right. One other thing I want to point out on these, make sure you buy, you don't buy, but make sure you download the app, uh, the uh, Galaxy Bud Lives app. Guys, it is a must-have. You can do all kinds of things. It really will break things down to you, show you how to use all the push buttons, uh, set up for you, all that kind of stuff. Also has the activating uh, your noise canceling and also you can you know program certain taps to activate certain things as well within the app. Uh, so you can turn that on. And then the active, uh, it has a labs button uh, that, that will open a ambient sound where it kind of relieves the pressure of things uh it's kind of weird and i, I really kind of like it uh, so i actually use that a lot and it does change the sound a little bit i do notice uh, on a normal setting with active noise canceling on the headphones are pretty flat so for a sound profile i would say they're pretty flat but uh, you can open them up with the eq settings on the app okay so the app is a must to make them sound a little bit better and I did love them when I put them on the clear setting. Uh, it definitely opens up the mid-range and also the treble. So you got mid-range, you got treble just a hair over the mid-range, and then you have uh, your lows, which your lows, your bass, but it's, it's punchy. It's not like a low thud or rumble. Uh, they're not warm in my opinion, but they, very, they sound very good and punchy. So... Um, you can definitely use that. Also, the treble boost is awesome for the treble boost EQ setting is awesome for podcasts or listening to anything like that, anything with a lot of talk. Uh, clear would probably work best for movies, guys. And, you know, you also have bass boost, soft and normal, which would work for, you know, everything else. But the bass boost didn't really do much for me, in my opinion. Uh, soft was one of my least favorite. It just did didn't sound good with anything to me and then dy the dynamic of course is going to definitely raise both your uh, treble and your bass and then your mid-range is going to be kind of floating in there so uh, certain genres might sound good with that but my favorite to just leave it on was clear um, it really just made it really clear crisp and sounded really good for most everything so there's my opinions on that guys let's get into the active noise canceling and then get you guys with pros and cons uh, active noise canceling on these are meant to reduce and not block completely, but reduce low uh, annoying frequencies. So like a bus sound, a train noise, um, things like that. Um, they're going to reduce that kind of thing. And I can firsthand say that it definitely does that. Like if you were to heard somebody tapping on the window and you could hear tap, 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 tap. Um, you've turned the active noise canceling and you're still going to hear the tap, but you're just going to hear it tick like t -t 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 -t. instead of a tap, 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 tick, tick, tick. It's going to reduce those things. And that's why they're called live. They're made so you can hear your outside world. And I really want to make that a point uh, because people were just killing these things. And it kind of scared me ordering them because uh, they were just saying how horrible they are, uh, active noise canceling and that kind of thing. But it's not made to completely block out your world it's made to reduce some of those sounds and it does an effective job of that i was really impressed uh, how it can just kind of mute those things uh, so if you have an air conditioner humming in the background you can just mute that down a little bit you're not going to hear it as much and you're still going to hear your music well but you're still open to hear your outside world so if somebody says your name or someone's talking to you you're wearing them at work this is definitely going to help you and at the normal volume that I listen to music in my ears, I definitely can hear my surroundings, which is nice. Now, if you turn them up a little bit more and have active noise canceling on, you can block out, you know, probably 80% of the world. 
but like I said it's only 80% you're not going to completely block out everything and you're still going to be able to hear something if something's right in your ear or if you're on something super loud but um, like I said I just want to make that point that this is made to mute that sound which is very interesting and not block completely so let's get into pros and cons guys pros absolutely uh, the Samsung at the price point of 40 to 50 dollars is an, a pro right there guys it's it's in the house awesome just do it guys because these are really good and you can find them a uh, good use no matter what you're if you go somewhere and you want to listen to music but you still want to hear things these are where you need to go uh, they also have like I said out right now those Sony links uh, which have like the donut shape in and lead in thing but those are still like hundred and fifty dollars right now so buying these at a hundred or forty dollars or fifty dollars or even ninety nine dollars is still a hundred percent cheaper and they have really good sound uh, still and enough volume that you're gonna be happy with in my opinion now that is subjective to people because some people may be cranking these things up and it might not be enough but uh, in my opinion, it is enough um, sound, and I still had uh, some room to turn them up a little bit uh, if I needed to. So, price point is the is the key right now. They are super inexpensive, so if you can pick them up for forty to fifty dollars, just make sure uh, to take a look if you're buying warehouse deals if they're missing items or that kind of thing. But great price point, even at ninety nine dollars, in my opinion, uh, they're worth it, guys. Um, also the charging is cool like I said if you're just using the case and you put them in five minute quick charging very very cool feature the uh, noise reduction is cool guys I like how it kind of just reduces everything but it doesn't completely block everything it kind of mutes everything a little bit so it's kind of cool um, lightweight comfortable in my opinion and you can easily buy accessorize the crap out of these with different crazy cases uh, uh, they look different you know all kinds of stuff uh, you can still replace the silicone tips as well if you lose some, so that's a positive. And, you know, once again, price point, bottom guys, line. Negatives. Let's talk about negatives on the Samsung Buds Live, guys. Negatives, actually, uh, how long they run? Five to six hours. I wish they had a little bit more time. I wish we could strive for an eight-hour shift. would be awesome. But with that quick charging, uh, five minutes, one hour, you can kind of get away with that. But uh, I wish you could get... Uh, as much time as possible with a little bit more battery life also tapping on them you do have to give them a nice little tap which can kind of be aggravating if you have sensitive ears because you have to give them a good tap and so that's literally pushing them down in your ear a little bit and it feels a little weird at first but you do get kind of used to it but it's not just a touch it's an actual tap so um, that can be a little weird uh, for some people and I could see that being a little negative and a little sensitive area there so because they do go down into your ear a little bit so also the silicone tips uh, you can lose them uh, I think that's a negative in my opinion uh, once they get used a little bit they come a little pliable and they might slip off fall off that kind of thing so um, not crazy doesn't break the bank to replace them but it's a little annoying so other than that guys I really don't have a lot of negatives on these I really think they're really good um, also if you take them in from the perspective that they're supposed to be made for like I said to hear your outside world and to just mute some of those outside sounds but not completely block it with the ANC you'll get over it the ambient sound technology is awesome I do notice that I actually like them really much with that ambient sound technology on in the labs on the app and then the, the actual noise canceling off uh, so I really enjoy the sound because when you use active noise canceling or the ambient sounds it will change the sound profile a little bit and I can't explain how it changes it exactly because it's a little bit different with different genres of music but it will change it a little bit so that's something to note could be positive or negative as well but for the most part the sound quality on these is pretty good and like I said with that clear setting in the EQ was my favorite uh, it really made them uh, pretty crisp, pretty clear, and still had a good little punchy bass. So thank you guys so much for tuning in, guys. This is, has been the Sony Buds Live, and I just wanted to do my own review because I want to put my twist on it and kind of let you know what I thought about them. And I am impressed, and I just wanted to kind of make it clear on the ANC for all those people out there. All right, guys, really quick. One thing I wanted to bring up really quick before I let you guys go that I forgot in my original video and I wanted to add to this to make sure you guys know is on the Samsung Live Buds, there is a thing called sound bleed that you will experience from them, uh, which means basically they 
leak a little bit of sound since they are kind of an open type earbud. People can hear what you're listening to basically. And um, so if you're on a, like a really uh, quiet place, you will be able to hear just a little sound like they're not really, really that bad. Uh, if you're like walking around uh, Walmart or a store, uh, nobody's gonna know the difference that you're listening to your music uh, unless they're right next to you. So probably within one to three feet, you might hear a little you know a little bit of your sound like that about that loud um, but it's not an extreme deal breaker to me a normal environment uh, loudness people aren't going to notice that you're listening to your music uh, the only time i can see it is if you're in a, a quiet place uh, like you're in a, a cafe and nobody's paying attention there and even then i i don't think anybody's going to bother you because it's it's not like a f open back headphone it's more like uh, a quiet uh like you'd hear something in the distance basically so into one the one to three feet range if you had them blaring uh loud if you had them at a normal level it's nothing to hear at all but normal level and you're walking around a store it's not a deal breaker so but they do have some noise bleed which means they will leak a little bit of sound out you'll be able to hear uh the person's music uh, but it'll be a very low level and it's uh, a distance about one to three feet if you had them at max volume and you're trying to uh, listen to your music. Like I said, if you have a normal volume, uh, you're not gonna have any issues with noise bleed. In my opinion, I don't think it's that bad. Uh, I had people listening and I kept asking them, hey, can where are you at when you really hear my music? And can you hear my music really well? And they're like, I can't really hear what you're listening to, but I can hear that you're listening to music. So I think that's the best way I can put it. So thank you guys so much. I just wanted to add that into this video and DJ Martini Midwest reviews. Thank you so much. Hello, this is DJ Martini Midwest coming at you with a quick microphone test for the Samsung Galaxy Live Buds. This is how they sound and perform. I am outside. Uh, they might pick up a little bit of wind noise, a little bit of interference, a little background type things, uh, but they perform pretty well and I think they sound pretty decent. So here's a quick test of the Samsung Galaxy Live Buds. Thank you.